What's going on everybody? Kwaku here, back with another video. Today, I wanted to bring you not an app review, but a first look at an app called Flare Max. Now this is in beta, which is why it's a first look, because I cannot do a review on things that are still in beta. But I want to show you guys, this is developed by the developer here, uh, Ahmed Walid, um, and it's obviously free on the Microsoft Store because it is in beta, even though we know how some apps have been in the past where they've still been paid. So basically what this is, is a music recognition application. So whatever's playing on your computer, um, in terms of music, uh, it can recognize the sound or the song of it um, and bring you like details about what it is, what albums and things like that that it's part of, and even just various interesting things. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So here in front of you, here's the main screen of Flare Max Beta. And as you can tell, it's very simple and straight to the point. Um, if you're trying to recognize songs, basically all you have to do is just pick whichever way you want it to recognize. I'm pretty much just gonna avoid the open a file option just because um, I don't have any songs that aren't named really straightforward. So like I would already know what the song is, so it kind of defeats the purpose, but it works. You can just drag a file in and maybe if it's like a like a mp3 that for some reason has like a jumbled up letters and whatever it is and you're trying to figure out what song it is then it can pick it up um but it takes a little bit of time obviously it's in beta and it's not perfect the other thing that makes it in beta and it's not perfect is the recognize by microphone option because i was testing this earlier uh, this is about the fifth recording of this whole video and uh for a while, it wasn't recognizing my microphone. Who knows what will happen right now? So we're gonna test it on this royalty-free song. I'm gonna play it from my phone into the microphone and see if it picks it up and how long it takes. So let's try that out. So you can see already it popped up, but for me before when I was not recording and when I was recording the previous sessions, it took a while. It took like 10 seconds for it to recognize. So it takes time. Um, or sometimes it's instant. It's kind of random when it works. So it's kind of, you know, love hate thing, at least for me with it. But when it does work, this is what it looks like. You see all the information there. I was playing City of Mine by Snake City, a uh, royalty free song. And uh, you can see the genre, the duration of the song, which let me actually see on Spotify. Yup, it is three minutes and 33 seconds long exactly. Um, release date 2021, which is correct. All the artists that are featured is correct. Uh, you have the title, you got the artist, and all that stuff, all the information there. I'm not actually too sure what um, this drop-down menu here is for because I don't see anything change uh, for it, but I'll leave it at title for that. Um, you can also choose to listen to this on YouTube, Spotify, and various things, all the services that are tied to it. So, for example, if I go up here to these three dots and then I go to settings, you can see this is the settings for it. And you know that one thing that I always look for if you're familiar with this channel is I always look for being able to know who made the application, who I can talk to if something goes wrong. And now you have special thanks to all these people, including the UWP community for the application itself. Um, and while we're in settings, I'll just talk about it real quick. You got your current core, which is basically the, the powerhouse of the application. I switched it from ACR Cloud to Shazam just because I'm playing more modern music, more just mainstream music, but ACR Cloud also works pretty well. Um, I turned off the live tile just because we're in Windows 11, at least I'm running Windows 11 and we don't have live tiles. So there's really no point in having that feature on. And then you have the timeout after seconds. I guess this means that if nothing is picked up, how many seconds till it just decides to just give up. Um, and then, like I said, UDAP is developed by Ahmed Walid and so on as we go down we just see everything else there so now let us go back and this is kind of the main screen it's not really there's no real main screen you just kind of keep moving on to the next thing so the next thing obviously is going to be recognized by recognized from audio output now for that i have it open the same song open on brave my web browser and i'm going to hit play on it and see if it can pick it up so let's see Actually, you know what? Before I even do that, let me let me actually go and show you guys this area first. So up here, you got some options here. You got the lyrics. The lyrics, um, they're not perfect. You got sync lyrics. So if you're trying to do like karaoke style, you can see the lyrics and they'll keep going like how Spotify does it now. Or you can just choose to do the basic lyrics. And some songs it won't be able to find lyrics for. Some songs it will. Um, and then you got download track. So basically it'll take you to a place where you might be able to download the track. I'm not sure if this is a good website to use. And clearly when I clicked it, it didn't even 
take me to the track itself. It just brought me to the website. Um, and then you got this button here, which is preview. And when you hit preview, City of you can see that it brought up its internal player and all that stuff. And you can change aspect ratio and all those things, even cast the device to local things in your, in your house or your, wherever your Wi-Fi connection is. And then the next thing here is an interesting one, play in built-in MyTube player. So if you're familiar with this channel, you know that I covered MyTube uh, pretty extensively on an app review. I might've covered it more than once. And uh, it's a YouTube application made by this group of developers for the most part. And they built in that player to this. It's not perfect, doesn't always play in MyTube, but let's see if it works. It wasn't working for me when I tried it before. So let's see. It should load the video and all that, but this is exactly what was happening. So let's see if it can even play it. It is correct in the time, but will it play? And if I hit play, it won't even do anything either. As you can see, you hear me clicking play. It's not doing anything. So this is what happened to me before. Uh, the integration wasn't working for me. I wasn't able to play anything uh, video wise through the application of a song. And it looks like it almost crashed. There we go. So it's it doesn't work perfectly. And obviously I'm not clicking on these here just because these are just links to find the song on various websites um, and services. And then the last thing here, you have the ID3 metadata uh, editor. And if you click it, you can modify the metadata of that file or that song. So, you know, you can change it to however wish you wish to call it in case it's wrong and things like that. So it's a pretty straightforward application. Now, last thing before I do uh, the final words is let's see if it can recognize the same song um, again, I want to know what happens if the song is already something I'm looking at here, that same song, but I'm recognizing it from a different source. So let's try it. So you can see right there that it did recognize to do that. My keyboard was being a little weird and wouldn't let me hit play again, but you can see it did work. It was able to reload the song on the list. It didn't just keep it static on the screen, which is good. So it is able to distinguish between when you decide to play the same song from two different sources and it is able to update showing you that it actually did something and it knew that these were from basically two different sources, but it's the same song. So in a nutshell, so far, there's definitely some pluses on it and there's definitely some negatives on it. Uh, I would say the first plus on, or the pluses I would say in general is that it's very easy to use. Um, it's straightforward. Most of the time it works and I guess that's like a middle ground, a plus and a minus. It, it almost always works. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes things just won't work, and that's the negative of it. Some things just don't work. Sometimes that recognized by microphone doesn't work, um, at least for me. And and then also up here, the most disappointing one too is these two buttons, or at least these two buttons here, the built-in My2 player, and then here the download track where it doesn't actually take you to the track, at least for this song. It doesn't take me to the track. It just takes me to that website, and I have to search it myself. Um, and then here, the My2 player, the built-in one, I would like to have that thing work. Um, so hopefully if they're listening, I know they have a Discord page for this application. They're continuously working on it. So, and it's not out yet, it's still in beta. Um, but overall, it's pretty good. Uh, the synced lyrics as well. Some songs have sync lyrics, some songs don't, um, but pretty much all songs have lyrics other than this one at least. Um, and it's pretty straightforward for the lyrics part. Um, and then last thing here is this play button here, which is preview. So if you want to preview the song of what's playing, you can just click this play button. It'll pull it and it'll start playing like you saw before. So in general, that's about it for Flare Max beta. Um, as I said, again, it's in beta. So whatever I say, this is just feedback on continuously developing the app. Uh, definitely, definitely, I would say definitely they should improve it definitely keep going with it i like the idea of making it like shazam but it's importing shazam and other cores into the application it's nice and fluent as you can see my car in the background or the car in the background not my car uh is there in the background um and then if i shrink it this is how it looks when you shrink it it's kind of weird when you shrink it so i guess another thing they should fix since it is in beta is the resizing when you resize into various things. And I guess the final, final, final thing that I would like to say about this app is that um, a feature request. I would like to have a pop up window or like a always on top screen. So that way, if it gets, if there's a button to keep it always on top, it'll shrink like some of the other applications like this and it'll always stay like here. And no matter what you're doing, it's always on top. I would like to have that feature, maybe a redesigned interface just for that feature maybe with just icons as people get familiar with the application because i know most people who are going to use this 
are going to be the power users and they can get familiar with this. So let me know what you guys think about this application in the comment section below. My name is Kwaku and I'll catch you guys in the next one.